They want you to work well with other employees. We have different social codes. So, you know, uh, Latins, you know, we hug and we kiss uh, females, you know, uh, even co-workers. French do double kiss. Uh, you know, Argentinians <laughs> kiss other men in the cheek. Uh, we're under friends. So, of course, these whole things make it more difficult for an immigrant to fit in if you don't know the code of how Canadians relate. So, of course, as an employee, you know, that's a difficult thing. So, they want you to fit in by knowing and having the same teamwork skills. Of course, you know, we need to communicate and sometimes fluency in English is a big opportunity for us to have just gotten here, you know. We might know the grammar very well, but when it's time to talk and, you know, especially when you feel passionate about an idea and you want to express it and you want to say it in a board and we are lost for words and, uh, you know, it's more difficult. So, of course, they want you to fit in by knowing the language and be able to communicate effectively. And also the cultural context. I uh, had some experiences with this. I uh, probably some of you have seen uh, a wine by Wayne Gretzky. And for those of you who don't know who Wayne Gretzky is, he is like the biggest star in Canada. He is uh, uh, a hockey player, right? <laughs> and he is he's like that, like a god, right? I didn't know who Wayne Gretzky was. <laughs> so when the supplier called me and said, We want to a launch a wine for, uh, from Wayne Gretzky, I said, like, Who? And he kind of was like insulted, right? Because he's like, How do you mean, What do you mean you don't know who was Wayne Gretzky? So he said, Go to WayneGretzky.com and call me back. <laughs> I don't know. Um, then there, is, there is this group uh, uh, called the Burn Naked Ladies, so we had a meeting in a, in a boardroom and they said, oh, the Burn Naked Ladies, they want to launch uh, uh, their brand. So I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea, let's see, you know, uh, they're very popular. And there was this guy sitting next to me and, uh, and I said, you know, it would be a great idea if you can have each one of the picture of the ladies <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're all dudes, you know, it's like, it was Stephen Page. I didn't know, Burn Naked Ladies were all men. Yeah. <laughs> This, you know, this is part of the contextual thing that, that you only have if you're born in Canada, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, these are all good reasons for asking immigrants to have Canadian experience, right? But what about the idea, as you know, the minister pointed out, of looking at things for the first time and approach problems with an open, right? What about, you know, I've never seen the way a monopoly works, so when I come from a different place, I can have ideas that nobody has ever thought about. Or that they're probably discounted initially because, oh, that's not the way we do things here, because we have experience seeing other things working in other parts of the world that we're from. Right? Maybe precisely because we have worked in other cultures, we know a better way to relate to people and connect on a more personal level. Right? Maybe because we don't have any friends, we're going to try harder to connect with the people we're working with. Maybe we know a different way of building a relationship based on trust. How many deals in Latin America or in India or in so many other countries are based on trust? And you can't do business in Japan unless you have a local partner that really, you know, endorses you, right? So that, our experience working, you know, coming from Mexico, or Japan, or India, really helps us build relationships in a different way, right? So all those are good are good, uh, you know, ideas for, you know, challenging this idea about um, uh, Canadian experience, right? Uh, you know, we have also mastered a foreign language. So, of course, you know, you have to learn English and that's, uh, you have to learn English and, you know, having a sexy accent is cool, but you also have to know, you know, how to speak and how to communicate, how to communicate effectively and that speaks for yourself. Many other ways of communication we do, especially when looking for a job at Reaper, right? So if you don't come across as someone that really knows how to express himself, that's going to be a big, a big uh, problem on your side, right? So um, the fact that we understand Canadian culture uh, means that we, you know, we're also becoming Canadian. And don't be afraid to become Canadian. I mean, that's why we're here. And we're never going to stop being Mexican or Indian or Korean. You know, actually, you know, I will never stop liking tequila and mariachi and all the things that I grew up with. But still, I'm becoming Canadian, right? And now I know who Wayne Bristol is and who the Bernadette is. And I have all these experiences that actually have enriched my life. But now I've been able, I have been able to fit in. And more importantly, when someone that has worked with me sees an immigrant, you know, send it to the resume, he's going to say, well, you know, immigrants are not so bad, you know, look at this guy Sandra, you know, this is great, you know. So, you know, it's, it's important for us not only to improve our 
chances of you know progressing in this country, but also for the guys that are coming behind us, right? And and we were once you know the first in the line with the residency, you know, and 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 we're now harvesting the good efforts that immigrants that were here before us have have made, right? So it's important that we put the the, the concept of, of immigrants in, in a good position, so that when someone sees a resume of an immigrant that doesn't have any experience, he can think, well, he can bring so many things to the table. He can bring creativity, a new way of thinking. He can build relationships. You know, they, they all you know, know pretty well English, and they little by little will understand the country. So, you know, my, my, my message in conclusion is just adapt and integrate and fit in. Fit in the country, become Canadian, don't be afraid. And uh, this is a wonderful country, uh, and uh, you'll see the results. Thank you.